Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Grand Central. Today we'll be doing another episode of the 30 Day Challenge, Day 3. Uh, before we get into what it, the topic is going to be, I just wanted to say that um, obviously people who have watched the channel trailer, uh, some of the videos are not coming out in sequence. It's mostly because I'm testing out these different things. Um, and I used that in my post I shared on social media, but also in the video. So I've shot stuff that you haven't seen yet, but I realized as I, after shooting them that some of them take a lot longer to edit than I was expecting. So I'm still planning to release them. They will just be some more different. So right now I'm doing my episodes that I know will be faster to edit first. And then as I have time to edit uh, these other video clips, I will release them. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I didn't want you to think that something was off. Uh, we're still on day three, it's still going. I still have plans to release stuff. I program stuff to make it faster. Um, so do not worry. And with that, let's dive right in. Hello everyone, the topic we will be uh, tackling today is mindfulness, and I'm gonna explain that through acting techniques that I use. First thing for mindfulness will be grounding yourself. You take a couple of deep breaths, allow yourself to return to your normal state of being, because when we're going off in our heads, we all have those moments where we're spiraling in our minds. Another thing you can do is let go of any past or future expectations. The past is where depression and trauma lay, and the future is where stress is held. If you just stay in your present moment, it makes it harder for the depression to try to come at you. What can I do now that will allow me to stay inside myself? Uh, if anybody else has heard that, feel free to leave me a comment because I also feel like it's a great thing to just discuss for everybody so they know that sometimes we're overly told to worry about our futures and we miss living in the present. I said this next one in the activity I released on Friday and it is be free from judgment. A lot of times because of society norms and things that we're told as individuals, we judge ourselves based on other people's expectations of how human beings should be. But sometimes when we're dealing with stuff, we haven't been dealing in a way that society thinks because a lot of times in film, television, history, we like painting things in this golden light that makes everything look pretty. Because it looks pretty and it looks perfect, we are like, oh, but our lives aren't that way. So we're judging ourselves for not being these better versions. That's a trap. Don't do it, throw it away, it's not good for you. Before I continue with the last two things that I wanted to say about mindfulness, feel free to push the like button so this video can spread to more people. Mindfulness is something that I feel could help a lot of people in their own lives. It allows less of the overwhelming emotions to take over us so we can have more fulfilling and joyous lives. Next thing, check your breathing technique. A lot of people do like the, the square, breathe in for four seconds, hold it for four seconds, you breathe out for four seconds, and then you wait four seconds before breathing in. That's one breathing technique. There's also the three, seven, eight, but I do four, seven, eight, and that's when you breathe in for four seconds, you hold it for seven, and then you breathe out for eight, and then it just repeats. We can do it right now. And then you just repeat it. And the reason why it's useful is because it allows you to step away from thinking and allow you to focus in on your lungs and your body and just allowing that to be what you're mindfully being being aware of in the moment. And usually that allows enough space between you and what you're stressing or being depressed about so you can return to a state of being able to address your brain without feeling overwhelmed. The last thing I can give you guys on mindfulness is use it. A lot of times, especially in meditation mindfulness, people are always like, well, I can't meditate because when I'm trying to sit there and breathe, my mind's going a million different places. In the beginning, that's probably more what they're talking about where you can't just allow your mind to wander like that because then you're not being present in the meditation. But for mindfulness in your depression or your mental state, allowing yourself those moments where like you're trying to focus and breathe, but then these thoughts of something coming in your life, don't stop it. If you stop it, it makes it worse and this thought that was small just starts feeling like it needs to pester you because it wants you to think it and you're trying to ignore it. Something I've used is visualizing it as a wave in the ocean. You let it in so it can have its moment, and then you're like, okay, goodbye, We've had you've had your time. I need to be mindful and in the moment, and you've gotten some time for me, so don't come at me again, because you got your moment, now back off, you know? 
it and now. With that, we are officially wrapped. I appreciate everybody who's watched. As always, if you enjoy this video, you can push that subscribe button. You can tap the bell button to get notified for when I post more videos. This is the 30 day challenge. So if you push that bell button, you're gonna get more content and you're gonna see all 30 days. Obviously in November, I'll, my schedule's gonna shift. I'm testing things out to see what works, what doesn't. And if you leave a comment, I'll be able to know where to go from here because I'll have data to go off of. Finish, we're gonna say the thing I've been saying in the last three videos. Remember to show up for yourself because sometimes in life we wait around for the people who should have showed up for us to do so and they do not and instead of being mad or sad like we so want to be because we, we deserve that our inner child deserves it and you guys deserve it. Sometimes it's outside of our control and it's okay to realize that but what is under your control is you. You can show up for yourself and you can be the person that tells you that you love you because at the end of the day when you die the only person that's going to be there for 100% of your life is you. So if you show up for yourself who cares who else shows up for you. You did. And you're amazing. And with that, I'm going to leave you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.